will never know how much this neighborhood means to me because uh, uh, in Sacramento, there, there's like good news and, and bad news. Uh, there's the governor who sometimes, uh, uh, they call it canoe politics. He, he paddles to the left, he paddles to the right. Um, um, it's an interesting situation with him. You know, on, on issues of immigration, he sucks. On issues of uh, domestic workers getting rights, he sucks. But he, he is approachable. So we have 34 new people coming into the uh, legislature uh, on December 3rd. And I don't know all of them yet, but I'm trying to get a sense of uh, who they are. Uh, an interesting uh, a dynamic is uh, people like me are subject to uh, term limits. So in two years, that's my last two years, but the new people are 12 years, and that gives us some breathing room. And uh, uh, Phil Ting, for instance, is uh, now elected to represent uh, the assembly district that Fiona Ma represented, and I feel that he's a little more progressive. You know, as our assessor, um, uh, he, he took on many issues that impinge on uh, foreclosures. He took on the Catholic Church, Yes, and, and prop fucking 13, hello. So, um, what we have is promise, what we don't have is guarantee. Uh, Kamala Harris did come up with a, uh, a, uh, uh, a template of what might help in and around foreclosures. The legislature's first um, uh, reaction was to push it back. And then, as they got more and more nervous through activism, they decided that they would have to, uh, you know, have a, uh, a, a confab and try to come up with something that uh, would satisfy the activists. Well, what they came up with is still not enough, but the, uh, the benefit of the activism uh, was that they, it was on their radar. And uh, there's uh, places like Fresno that are represented by a Latino representative, a very nice guy, Henry Perea. Most of the floor cl uh, closures happen to Latinos. He's Latino, but he sides with the banks. Mm -hmm. And so activists went to Fresno and picketed him in front of his house and uh, took out a web page. Is that going to move him? I don't know yet, but it, 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 it doesn't need to stop. We need to continue to do this. So uh, um, what I've seen uh, from uh, this group, which and I'm very grateful for it, is about seven or eight ideas for leg legislation in and around foreclosures. And I'm committed uh, not only to look at them, but to carry them through. Uh, you know, frankly, you know, I've been around a long time. Some of them are going to be pie in the sky. And I say, well, what the fuck? we got to start making people think. You know, rent, yeah. control, rent control in Sacramento is like anathema, uh, Costa Hawkins, the Ellis Act, whatever. But if we don't start nibbling, 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 and saying, particularly to those new ones, you're going to be there for 12 years. Tom Aviano might be gone. Feel, you know, whatever, but you're, this is not an issue that's going to go away. What I always uh, uh, discovered in uh, my career in politics is when you kind of brought an issue to whatever the middle class is, then you start to get traction. So uh, if you're being foreclosed, if your spouse or domestic partner or your wife is being laid off, if your school is being closed, all of a sudden you start to question Prop 13. And how come commercial properties continue to get the benefit of playing games about forming a, uh, a holding company or uh, uh, using the loophole that says 50% plus one means you're not reassessed? What about that making those people who are elected look bad and feel guilty. So we have promise here. We, uh, uh, again, we don't have guarantee. So a number of the issues that, um, uh, 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 that were suggested uh, by, by uh, this group, Occupy Bernal Heights, 
for legislation that I might carry and look into. I'm ready to do it. I want to be smart about it. I want to be able to guide you, you know, through uh, the morass of, of, of Sacramento. I want to guilt trip <laughs> my colleagues. And I particularly want to apply pressure uh, uh, to the governor. Um, I have issues with the governor. Um, you know, I'm an old white guy, so I can criticize him as another old white guy. Um, he has an issue with uh, people who are not uh, entitled. He, he doesn't get it. You know, you got to remember about Jerry Brown. Uh, uh, Jerry Brown might have a Jesuit background and a good heart and all that, but he's also uh, an elitist. He grew up, you know, he's very wealthy. And when uh, he vetoed the bill around domestic workers, it killed me, you know, because he trivializes those kind of issues. Uh, when uh, about immigration, hello, immigration is like the issue of this decade. And Jerry Brown could have exercised leadership around the Trust Act and the uh, inappropriate uh, uh, execution of the of ICE. You know, the program that does not distinguish between the ladies who sell tamales uh, uh, against uh, people who may not be citizens and 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 uh, commit violence act. You know, I'm really fucking sick of that. Mm -hmm. And I think San Francisco is a beacon in and around that. And so on the foreclosure issue, um, I think we can embarrass people, we can guilt trip people, and we can have those who are really uh, uh, impacted by uh, foreclosure put a face on the issue. In terms of my colleagues who represent Fresno or LA, uh, or San Diego, uh, our ability to mobilize throughout the state is going to make a difference. Uh, you here in, in Bernal, you know, my neighborhood, thank God, I love you so much, have taken a leadership -ish, uh, uh, position on that. So now what we have to do is spread the message throughout the state. And uh, again, there's strong potential for that, and there's strong uh, pushback for that. For many years, with uh, 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 term limits, the banks uh, and the corporations have a very unbalanced influence on what a lot of my colleagues do. Uh, it breaks my heart. It makes me sick. I talk to them personally, and they say, we know what you're talking about, but I can't vote for that. Uh, that's not right. So we need to change it. So any um, advances we make, even if it's local here in San Francisco, you have a board of supervisors, a mayor, you, uh, you have uh, uh, other officials who tend to uh, want to be with you, and you, they may think, well, we're going to do this, but what difference does it make? It makes a difference. So uh, I ask you uh, to continue with this fight. I will look at all those pieces of legislation that you have suggested and thank you around rent control, around uh, 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 transparency, uh, particularly around uh, when you take a loan, who really owns that loan, to fight back against the banks and the corporations. This is not anything that is trivial and it's not anything that we should give up uh, around. And uh, I, I just want to tell you, uh, uh, I'm there, uh, there'll be someone to replace me, let's make sure that that person, David Campos, let's make sure <laughs> <laughs> that the torch is carried, uh, because we don't want anything we do uh, to, to not be recognized. So thank you very much, and if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Right. Good. Good.